Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your July 2018 general reading. It is a general read. It will not resonate with everyone, with everyone who views the video. If it doesn't resonate, just skip. Just go to the next reader. Go to the next sign. Uh, what is it? Sun, moon, rising. Yeah, do that. Okay, so it, oh, happy birthday Cancer. Um, to my June Cancers, to my July Cancers, happy birthday. All right. So I did something special for you. You guys get the card reading and you get the stone reading. It looks like, okay, in the stone reading, um, someone's even either holding tightly to you or you're trying to hold tightly to someone else. It may be in regards to money or your well-being or someone else's well-being is why they're holding tightly to you long-term stability and love like even is okay so when I threw the stones long like okay long-term stability in love and money is with another partner it's not whom you partner with if you are a cancer who has a significant other the relationship may be off balance and there might not be a lot of truth spoken in regards to how you feel and how the other person feels about the tangible about the monetary of the life that you guys have created together or you've kind of brought someone in on either you do something you do more in a relationship monetarily than the other person or vice versa there's someone else here with this person is love and friendship the person you're with is just the sentiment of love you know I love them a lot of times it's because of how much time and effort you put into the situation but there's another person here who you find love and friendship with and I think this is the person you find long-term stability with you don't know how to make the transition truth needs to be spoken it'll give you some balance here but you you haven't spoken that truth you might be with a flashy person or a person that likes, you know, to have nice things. Whatever you deem is nice. Kind of flashy with it. Wants everyone to know that this is really nice or really expensive. That type of person. They have something to prove to the outward self. And then, of course, the inward is just all jacked up maybe that's why the relationship is not working okay let's get into the cards anyhow you have someone else you you would love to be with you don't know how to make the transition uh, the communication isn't even here you might not even be communicating with that person not so much or not at all okay move these out of the way let's get into cancer's reading okay so for love we have past present future and then we'll have at the bottom of the deck the nine of wands all right so we'll give the textbook meaning of course the wounded warrior this is a person who has been through a lot in a certain situation those eight wands behind you there's drama frustration all kinds of stuff you've been and you stepped away from it either literally or mentally you've stepped away from from the fight you're tired of it this is when you're in contemplation of what to do next where to go next this is the nine of wands the next card will be the ten of wands of course Either you know you either lay this burden down, or you you go backwards. You go to the Eight of Wands, and and now you're communicating in regards to maybe the trouble in the relationship.
you, you're definitely in contemplation here. Maybe with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay, in the past we have the what, the Eight of Wands. Wow, first card. Didn't I say that? Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands. You were commit. So you were in communication. You know, you felt like. Some of you are not communicating with the one that you really want to communicate with. In the past, there was communication. It was, it was rapid. You guys text, talk, email, back, you know, back and forth. The arrows of love. You, you felt like you guys were working toward maybe the Ten of Pentacles, maybe actually solidifying the connection. And it made you feel victorious. And it made you feel alive. It made you feel... For some of you, it just made you feel good. You haven't felt that way in a very long time. Presently, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Uh... The Nine of Pentacles, a lot of you may be even, you know, having some thoughts of starting your own business, might be on the, the, the very, <clears throat> you're still doing your job, but you want to be somewhere else. You're restless in your job right now because of this business opportunity. Also, some of you you are the nine of pentacles type of person woman or man <clears throat> woman or man in waiting who has a lot to offer any situation that they decide to partner with but you don't know if you want to have partnership with this person because of the nine of wands it was drama it was craziness in the past this person takes you to the nine of swords they have you mentally bogged down you never know if you're coming or going or they're coming and going they might be coming and going but you never know how they truly feel about you the mental game that they play is one that you don't understand you're more emotional they play a mental game they have you thinking one way and it's another or vice versa they do this they they think one way and then the very next minute or so they think another way you are in heavy contemplation about jumping back into anything with them partner partnering with them in any fashion some of you already have someone and but you really want this other person in which it, it will make a third party situation but this is the third party situation where you really want to establish something real with this person because you want the opportunity to actually jump ship from where you are because you really want this person but it's a tough situation it's a tough it's tough for you because i really feel like you guys are polar opposite the future the lovers you could be dealing with the Gemini, the King of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So, like I said, a decision needs to be made between Cancer and two other people, or even it might even be a fourth person. They, that other person, has someone. Um, it needs to be a decision made. You know that. You have a burning desire for this person. You desire them on a, a highly sexual level. The chemistry is there. But also there's so many aspects of the relationship that you admire. Because you don't have it within the relationship that you're in right now. Uh, you know that you need to make a choice. Who, who do you want? 
I think you're taking on the King of Wands energy and or you're, you're dealing with a fire sign. We've got a lot of fire here. The King of Wands, you know, they're all about their wants and their desires. They want what they want. They desire what they desire. They go after it too. Uh, you need to make a choice. Are you in or are you out? Some of you are holding on to a situation. Some of you are holding on to your purse too. This person sometimes comes back. They come back with all these grand ideas of the, for the relationship, for love, for money, and it it involves and it involves the I want to say opportunity. Opportunity just keeps coming. I was okay. It involves the opportunity for you to spend your money. They want you to partner with them, but you. It's about you know. Hey, partner with me because I have this this idea of us being together and us having business together and all of these things. And it comes to, okay, so I need X amount of dollars or I need X amount of time from you or I need to I need to live with you or I need this or I need that. And at this point you're trying to hold on to what you have created as the nine of pentacles type of man or woman you don't want to let somebody else let them in your purse again for some of you that's where a very you know significant few of you and and that's how some people feel about you you know vice versa but a choice needs to be made are you in or out with this fire sign What are you going to do? Okay, so the bottom of the deck for career and finance, we have the Knight of Cups. Nice. So some of you guys' creative passion could be sparked here. You could do something creative for, for work, um, photography, painting, art, some, you know, some things of those natures. So it fulfills you on an emotional level. Your work does. Okay, five of sword, workplace, six of cup, six of cups, king of swords, the king of cups, and the ten of pentacles. So I have to relate this to love. It, it really looks like love. I mean, it definitely could be that a lot of you, um, it could be career to you. You have some interference in your career. Um, you may have a very competitive uh, field that you're in. Uh, someone could have tried to take some intellectual uh, data from you that, that you know, that stem from you and pass it off as their own and you had to defend yourself against that. You had interference in the realm of doing your work in which you had to then defend yourself and defend your work. Um, some of you feel like you're, you're the youngest person or the most inexperienced in, in, your, in your field. But it, it doesn't make you feel inferior theory or it just makes you feel as if um, sometimes you feel like people are not taking you serious you, you might have to take on a king of swords type of energy and stand firm in what you believe in uh, be strategic the king of swords is 10 20 steps ahead of of all the people around them they look at uh, situation from every aspect. This is the king right under the emperor. This is his go-to king. He's over all the other kings. Take on that energy of um, and he didn't. He didn't have to. He didn't, he yields the sword and it's the sword of truth. But he didn't really have to use it. His sword is his his intellect, his mouth, his words, his communication. Communicate uh, very effectively at work. Also, 
um, some of you really contemplating your long-term stability for you to have the eight of Pentacles in the past and nine in the, the present and then the ten of Pentacles in your um, career finance spread and then you know here's you you're definitely concerned with um, long-term stability and, and like we saw in the stones your long-term stability is um, it's almost connected to this nine of pentacles type of energy is connected to someone else long term not saying that you're not doing well or you won't do well now it's just more so what you really want for yourself that business ownership that freedom that is um, doing the job or your job on on your terms it comes by being in right align alignment in every aspect of your life and I think that's with someone else I relate this to love for some of you you had some interference maybe from a, a Gemini Libra Aquarius but it was okay with you because you felt like which is your soulmate anyway definitely Libra or Aquarius could be Gemini also um, they're interfering with what you already have established that ten of pentacles but once again you're okay with it because you want to go to the sixth of sword anyway you want to move away from a situation that you're already in but it seems that you and and this other person get stuck in the five of sword where you you try to one up each other where you allow the person in just enough it's for some of you you want somebody to just come in and bust up your situation and I don't feel like the king if it's the king of sword they're not going to do that first of all they're too on a cloud they're about they're also connected to spirits so they're about really holistically and naturally letting things happen for them to come in and bust up a situation like this for you so that you can then have the opportunity to move on it, it will be unnatural to them so that's not how you're going to get this king of sword for some of you you're partnered with a king of sword and there is interference maybe it didn't have to be from the air sign but for someone else and the relationship is heavy in argument right now with your your spouse or long-term partner because of this other person you don't get to the five of sword by simple arguing is that's not that that's five of one um A lot of you are telling your partner, well, think about the children involved. And I think that's why some of them hang on and, and hold out. That's that. Okay, so additional messages of support. Sobriety at the bottom of the deck for my cancers. Now, of course, this could talk about the usage of uh, alcohol and chemical substances the overuse or the use at all um, but also if you talk about the sobriety of the mind um, you're at the nine of swords presently you're at the nine of swords when all of these swirling thoughts all these negative thoughts all the anxiety all the ways of how this could not work how they don't I don't know how they feel and you know, playing a situation over and over again in your head, that's where you are. And that is not sobriety of the mind. So you have to get to a place where you um, are clear in thought, of course, by way of um, listening to things, listening to people who have good advice and good counsel, uh, listening to self-help. Um, reading books I mean you have to clean and declutter your own mind um, also if if you do have a problem with drug and alcohol you or someone else it's affecting you okay 
end of an era. So for some of you, it is the end of an era, whatever that may mean to you. Uh, but you're holding on, or someone's holding on to you. But it's the end here. You are stronger than you know. I, and I think for some of you, what we saw in the stones is you want to be somewhere else with someone else, but just don't know how to get there. It just, it's just not panning out. You can't seem to pass the five of swords type of energy. Changing your mind. Um, some of you have changed your mind about plans for the future. Some of you have changed your mind about plans that you made a long time ago. This is the person I'm going to be with forever. This is my forever. This is my forever job. This is some of you changing your mind about that. Uh, religion and spirituality. Nice. Um, this will help you definitely with sobriety. Definitely will help you clear your mind and make the right decision, the choice in whatever it is you're making it in. This is love. So I will say love. But religion and spirituality are heightened here for you. Um, some of you are, you know, light workers, tarot card readers, psychics. Religion and spirituality, getting yourself back balanced will help you make a decision in, in love and in career and finance. So I hope that this message helped you out, guys. Um, I want to leave you with a little quote. It says, was well, not a quote. It's actually, it's, well, I'll leave you with this. This quote. No, I'm gonna leave you with the with the other scripture because I think that <laughs> better suit you. Sorry, guys. All right, the light of the body is the eye. If the eye is healthy, then the whole body be full of light. Uh, watch what you what you're feeding your your mental. Watch what. Be cognitive of what you're looking at, what either in film, uh, right in front of you. What do you feed your brain? For the eye is uh, the light of the body is the eye, you know. So what are you feeding yourself visually? Um, some of you need to create vision boards also. If it's something you want, something you're after, that new business startup, write a vision board about it put it before your eyes so you can see it every day so it can actually manifest in your favor uh cancer all of my information of how to schedule a personal reading with me is below find me on insta go instagram go to my website tarotofl.com book a reading there um yeah uh Thank you to those who have liked to share, like, share, commented, subscribe to the channel. Comment below because you could win a free five-minute reading. It's a raffle. I will select randomly two people, um, and that uh, then the winners of that raffle will be announced July seventh. So go ahead, like, share, comment, and uh, it's much appreciated, guys. Remember to stay in prayer. I'm praying for you. For you so pray for me as well take care